Joining me right now is a member of the Senate Appropriations and Foreign Relations Committees, Tennessee Senator Bill Haggerty. Senator, it's great to see you. Thanks very much for being here. Likewise, Maria. It's always good to be with you. So what is going on in the Senate there? Do you believe that Chuck Schumer is going to put this to bed finally, or is he still trying to push through the climate agenda? And how high does he want taxes to go? Uh, Manchin pretty much said no, but will he take no for an answer? Well, it's amazing how the far left of the Democrat Party continues to push and push us toward the cliff of a recession. And Chuck Schumer seems to be completely tone deaf in this regard. The consumer price index that came out 9.1 percent this week. I mean, inflation is out of control right now, and it's accelerating, Maria. And then if you think about where we are in terms of our, our, our economy, we're at the precipice of a recession, and this package would have just done everything to push it over. Thankfully, Joe Manchin has been you know, sober enough within the Democrat Party to say, look, we've got to step back. This will be suicidal. Uh, does that mean that uh, Chuck Schumer will stop? Probably not, but they're going to have to trim it down. They're going to have to find something that Senator Manchin will agree to. But the last thing you would do, as you head into a recession, when the economy is in this bad a shape, raise taxes on job creators. And certainly, we don't need to see any more of this green new energy investment going on, more regulations that are constraining oil supply and making our economy far, far worse. The pain at the pump is enormous. At a time that the economy is slowing, the last thing people want is higher taxes. How significant are those tax increases? And the reconciliation opportunity goes until September 30th. Do you think they'll be able to do something? Well, they're going to have to completely recalibrate because Joe Manchin has taken the big chunk out of this package that they wanted to shove through, particularly how they're going to pay for it. Again, their desire to pay for it is to lump more taxes on the backs of Americans, on corporations. Who do they think pays these taxes? It's more high, you know, higher prices, more inflation that they're going to precipitate through all of this. Less investment is going to occur as, as well. So the supply chain problems we're experiencing are not going to be addressed. Uh, it's, you know, it's extremely troubling that they are so detached from reality as they continue to push this stuff forward. Uh, it's a blessing, I think, that if we can get this you know, proposal to raise taxes off the table right now, if we can actually begin to refocus on what's driving the inflation, which largely has to do with constraining the supply of oil and gas. But I tell you, I was very disappointed this week. I had Interior Secretary Deb Holland in front of me, and the new consumer price index numbers just came out, 9.1 percent. I asked her, at what point? You know, how high do gas prices have to get? How much pain does the American public have to feel before they will take their foot off the throat of the oil and gas industry here in America and begin to allow capacity to expand, to begin to give us some relief? She would not commit at mm. any level to do that. Again, these, the, wow. the, the administration here is completely out to launch. Well, let me ask you, because you're on the Appropriations Committee, and I want to understand how much of the COVID relief package has actually been appropriated, because uh, one member of the budget on the House side told me that the fact is, is hundreds of billions of dollars have gone to the states, and they haven't even sent that money out. So that led him to believe inflation will stay elevated, and we're not seeing a peak. I know we may see a lower number in July because energy prices have come off of the highs, but has inflation peaked based on what you know about appropriations? Maria, you are very perceptive to focus on this because you're exactly right. There's inflation baked into the pipeline because these state and local governments have not yet deployed the funds, that, the massive amount of funds that have been shoved into their coffers. Again, this all started back in March of 2021 with the Biden administration and the Democrats on a wholly partisan basis shoved right. through this massive $2 trillion package. And there is still a great deal of inflation baked in because of the money that still wow. lies in the coffers of these state and local governments that has not yet been put into the economy. When it does come in, it can only do one thing, more upward pressure on prices, yeah. more inflation. Wow. All right, real quick question. President Biden is wrapping up his Middle Eastern trip in Saudi Arabia. He used it on this Foreign Relations Committee. What yes. do you expect gets done on this trip? Well, my expectations have not been high from the outset. You know, when President Biden ran for office, he said he wanted to make Saudi a pariah state. Uh, you know, the, the, the conversation that you heard about him, you know, insulting the leadership there, uh, I did not think that was a great way to set the ground with important allies in the Middle East. Uh, you don't see that kind of conversation taking place with respect to China, with far worse uh, human rights uh, you know, issues there. But suddenly, uh, you've got a Biden administration waking up to the reality 
that we do have to deal with our allies. Uh, the problem is that the Biden administration has continued to press this Iran deal that makes no sense for America, that uh, is going to be devastating to our allies. And I think that creates an environment and circumstance that makes it very hard for him to make progress. We also are coming from a position of great weakness. If you think about where we were under President Trump, when we thought about America first, rather than leading from behind, we were in a far stronger position to work with our allies and with our adversaries. Now he's going hat in hand with mm -hmm. a terrible economy, with gas prices to the roof. We're not going to do anything domestically to relieve that problem, but he's going to go and ask them to start pumping more. I think we're in a very tough situation wow. there. So, again, my expectations have not been high about this trip. All right, Senator, we'll be watching uh, the developments after this trip. Uh, thanks very much, Senator Bill Haggerty, sure. joining us.